hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm talking to you from my yoga ball um as i wanted to share with you all the things all the lovely things that we have received from friends and family so far and i just thought i need to do this haul soon because you just don't know when i'm gonna pop <laughs> and i really want to put everything away so i thought let me do the video show you everything and then yeah i can start packing stuff and doing more videos as well in regards to like hospital bags, etc. And we have been honestly so lucky. We haven't even done a baby shower, <laughs> believe it or not. But we've just got so many gifts. But one thing I do recommend to any mums to be out there is to do an Amazon list or a list for people to get. Um, because for me, I put all like necessities or things that. Um, I believe that are going to be really helpful for us in the beginning. So I've got a massive bag here, plus things all over the floor of things we've received. So I'm going to get straight into the video. Maybe I'll start with like these sort of stuff. <laughs> um, so my boyfriend's family was so sweet. They got an igloo, like you know them sort of pods, and we had afternoon tea. And I weren't expecting them all to buy me presents. So yeah, we've got some presents from there first. So I'll show you some things that I got from there. Um, I got a belly mask, which I need to use soon. <laughs> I'm a month away from giving birth, like the due date anyway. Um, even though you're not likely to give birth on the due date, but yeah, it's scary. So I just feel like any moment now I could pop. So yeah, I need to use this soon. It's for me, um, it's a magic bump mask. I didn't put this on my wish list, but it's just a nice gift from my mother-in-law or my boyfriend's mum. <laughs> We're not married, but that's why I call them anyway. So I got a perineum spray. So after birth, that will come in handy. Nipple cream um, and relaxing bath soak. So yeah, that's gonna be really, really handy. And it's nice for someone to think of me as well, because obviously usually people just get stuff for the baby. Um, but I haven't really thought about myself in regards to things I need. Um, to be totally honest it's really easy to do when you're having a baby <laughs> but it's nice for her to remember me Brittany you wanna have a look you're sleeping she just woke up <laughs> and now I'm going through boxes she's excited we've got a really lovely hamper from my boyfriend's brother and his girlfriend and this has like muslin cloths you can never have too many of them. We've got some neutral vests as well, three to six months. We've got these hangers. So when they're newborn, one month, two months. We have got a wardrobe for the baby. I need to organize it. But each one's got a different thing on there. So that is super cute. As I say, I can't wait to put this all away and make it all cute. Um, you probably think I'm leaving it to the last minute as well because I'm like, I'm a month away from giving birth and I haven't put this all away. But it's just because... Uh, I just have to have things in my mind, like if things aren't in order, I just feel, I don't know, for me, this won't take long, it will take a day to put it all away, maybe, <laughs> with my tiredness at the moment. Um, so this is a little comforter, we actually haven't bought a comforter, so this is nice to have, and obviously this will go into the wash as well, like I've got so many things that I need to wash, and I just want it to be fresh, that's why I haven't washed it yet. You know, like if it's been washed too long ago, like I want it to be like at least under a month washed and then they can wear it. Got some gripe water. Um, I would never have thought of this, but apparently it's really good. And what is it for? <laughs> Relief. Oh, it's for wind. <laughs> for wind and gripe. I don't know what gripe is, but yeah. We've got some baby dove. By the way, I'm going to have a whole haul on all natural and eco-friendly stuff that I bought as well for the baby. Um, and yeah, we've got so much stuff, honestly. When I think about it, like I keep thinking, oh, we haven't got that much, but actually we do. <laughs> um, but you know when you feel like you don't ever have enough? I feel like it's the same situation with this. So we've got a little toothbrush. How cute is this? I actually didn't buy a toothbrush for my baby yet because I just thought... They ain't gonna have any teeth. So this has come in handy because we've got it at least. We've got some Waterfield teethers. These are fridge safe as well. So then obviously when they're teething, it can cool them down. Um, and it's three plus months. I'm guessing that's when they start teething. We've got one of these. This is a duck and it lets you know if the water's too hot. So it will say it at the back there. 
that's super cute and it's a nice thing to have in a little bath as well mum on the run so again they followed me which is cute so they said yeah you're gonna need to drink a lot of water honestly i drink so much at the moment but i guess when the baby's here i'm probably not gonna really have time or not think about it so this will come in handy and i love this basket as well it's really cute and thoughtful his other brother got us this this was on our amazon wish list and it's a little play gym for the baby i think it's so cute i was looking online and this one had the best reviews i don't know if you can see it i can share it with you if you want let me know my amazon wish list because like that's what I put down <laughs> like there's certain things that I buy myself like the nappies etc and like the shampoo wash creams and everything like that I've bought all of that um but yeah and the, and the newborn stuff and it's so sweet of them because they're like they want to buy something that they can enjoy and I'll definitely enjoy this I haven't opened it yet but I feel like I don't know I, I, I need to start opening things <laughs> but I want to open it when it's just nearly the time and then it can all be out and it can be like new and like new. At the moment we're adapting to the cot being in the room. So that's something else we're adapting to. Um, and something new and something nice. I, I have a thing about foxes as well at the moment. <laughs> with baby stuff. I think they're so cute. I'm doing my boyfriend's family first because it's in a bag and it's just a bit easier. Um, so another thing we got. Just for my boyfriend's parents. They bought us so many things and I can't thank them enough. I probably won't even be able to show you everything they bought me in this video. Um, but this is another thing, it's a swaddle sack. We put this on our wish list as well and it's zero to three months. And you swaddle your little baby. You can even do this with a blanket. You don't necessarily have to do it with an actual proper swaddle. Um, and we learn how to swaddle in our antenatal classes. So we know how to do it, but I feel like this will just be easier for us. And it's just easy, done. <laughs> and yeah so this is a good one apparently i've looked on amazon always look at reviews i don't know why another thing i got which is going to be really hard to lift Brittany, you need to get out of the way baby <laughs> get out of the way poor little poor little cat so we also got one of these we've got a schnoogle i think it's called yeah <laughs> it's called a schnoogle it's a bath for the baby you've probably seen these before it's in that shape like that um but yeah this was on our wish list as well and it's gonna obviously come in handy you can even put it in your living room and wash the baby so for me like i needed oh, Brittany, she's scratching up the hamper basket um for me i just wanted something that was yeah you can just take anywhere and i think it's good for them to have that own bath in the beginning i might be wrong but yeah i think it's normal so in this, I've got lots of nappy sacks, which is really, really handy. I've got some already, but you can't have too many. <laughs> I've got like, yeah, 450 extra ones now. <laughs> so this is gonna be really handy for us. And we've got like, two, we bought a bin now that's got two sides. I said to my partner that we can just put like the nappies in one and then the bin stuff in the other. So that'll be easier. We've got lots of wipes, honestly. Yeah, this is from my mother-in-law. She bought us all these wipes, but she also bought me more wipes. <laughs> um, yeah, the other day, like loads of water wipes, you know, the brand. So yeah, this isn't just what she's bought. That's why I say like they've bought us so much more. They've been so generous, honestly. Um, but these are extra sensitive ones. I think this is when they're a bit older, but the original ones that I have bought myself and the ones she's bought are like water wipes um, and they're natural, so that's what i would recommend when they're first born but yeah as they get older they can have these ones oh so yeah these are 98 percent water and honestly we've got so many wipes now <laughs> we are not going to run out for like a year supply um we've got bongella i love a bit of bongella on myself so this one's probably really good actually um so yeah i didn't know i didn't realize she got me this um pseudocreme i have literally lived off pseudocreme since i was little so for me this is a must have. I know it might not be as, I don't know, up to date or modern now. I don't know. I don't know what the go-to thing is, but back in the day, this cures everything, even for me now. Um, but more wipes. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't realize how many wipes I got. Um, so yeah, extra sensitive, extra sensitive. Um, they got us some baby shampoo as well. No tears. 
and also some baby lotion as well. Um, that smells so nice. Like that baby smell. We also got, oh God. We also got this from one of my aunties. It's called Munchkin and it's a bath toy organizer, but it's actually, I don't know if you can see, let me take this off. I might put it up after this. It goes with my bathroom as well, because it's gray and white. <laughs> That's why I picked it and put it on the wish list. And you basically, you can scoop up all the toys. This is when they're a bit older. And also you can put all their stuff in there, because I thought anything for the bath, I'll just suck it onto the wall and it'll just be easier because we already have so no Brittany <laughs> we've got so many toiletries honestly between us so the baby's gonna have a lot of toiletries as well <laughs> I've also got a little trolley which I'll show you in another video of everything so it's all organized but yeah this is something that will come in handy and um, from that same auntie as well I've got this you can put this either on your cot you can put this on the pram um, I think in the first is at the first three months they only see black and white but I think colour is always nice and yeah so I'll put this on their cot maybe to start with we also got this from one of my cousins this was their first present when he found out I was pregnant which is really cute of him I've also got more presents um, from other family members but they bought it on the wish list but not given it to me yet I think they're gonna give me it when the, they physically see me and baby <laughs> so it's hard to show that another thing which is actually one of my favorite presents is from one of my friends she works with penguins so she got me loads of books which i'm so thankful for honestly you know who you are and i think books for me is just because i i put a few books on on my on my wish list but i haven't had anyone buy any i think people just think oh it's a book it's not a necessity but for me like books are everything I, I grew up you stop it darling i grew up with a lot of books and i feel like they really help development so it's important obviously <laughs> i'll show you all the books she got so firstly she got me this book um this is a touch and feel book i love a bit of touch and feel I like when i was little i used to love like you know when you do that i still like it now even my, me and my boyfriend were like oh um, so we have got quite a few of these types of books and I'll show you them. We've got a first book which is black and white. Um, I'll put this all back and it's like crunchy as well. This is going to be their main toys for me, like it isn't even going to be like actual toys. <laughs> but I can't show you it properly obviously, but yeah. These are all from yeah the publishers, Penguin. Where Spot, which is something I had as a child. So that's very nostalgic for me. And again, it's got like little flappy things, which I am all about. And I think kids love that, don't they? That's so destructive, isn't she? <laughs> um, but yeah, you pull these out. I used to have a book like this. It was Maisie, actually. Maisie the Mouse. And it used to be a pull-out one. So that's what that reminds me of. Love it. I love you, Daddy. How cute is that? Um, my, first, my first 100 words. Again, it's like educational. It's got all the foods, like all the types of transport, colours, everything. Love that. Hungry Caterpillar, you must know that if you're a 90s baby. So I've got that book. And these aren't books that I asked my friend for, like she just picked them. I didn't expect this many, so thank you so much, honestly. Honestly, I cannot wait to read to my little baby and I have all these touchy-feely sensory things because a lot of babies need sensory. It seems like the books are doing that more nowadays. Um, when I was young, not every book had sensory. Like, look at that book. The big one, Shiny Whale. Like, all of these are just so, so cute, honestly. I need to get a bookshelf for the baby so they can have <laughs> poor little Brittany. <laughs> Um, a peekaboo one, again, little flap. She or he will recognise the cat with Brittany, hopefully. I think it's a lovely gift as well to give to someone books because you can never have too many and especially books like this because they are helping their development. You know what I mean? 
rather than just being like a silly book or a Peppa Pig book, which I am going to do my best to steer clear of Peppa Pig. I know most people love it, but for me, I mean, obviously kids love it and I'm not a kid, but I don't know, this Peppa Pig thing. Also, his parents got us a cot, which is so sweet. I'll show you it. So this is the cot his parents bought us. And it's got drawers, so they come out, which is really, really cute. My sign is still up there. <laughs> so yeah, the baby will be in our room, um, I would say, to start with. But yeah, until we move. But it's good. It comes with a mattress. And this is from Amazon as well. And the mattress is really good. Like, as they get older, you can actually take this off. So then it's open. And also you can put it down. So it doesn't have to be that high up. But in the beginning, I need to get to the baby. At the moment, my belly don't even fit over, this, <laughs> over it. His parents have been so generous. Even like these water wipes, these are so heavy. These are the ones I was talking to you about, like the water wipes. Um, they actually must have so much water in them. <laughs> honestly his mum as well got us about five boxes of these super drug were the only place i found um baby cotton wool pads the safety ones you know like i don't know if you can see there that have like a little nib everywhere i looked it was like just the normal ones but small but i just got scared that it's gonna get like in their ear and they also got us this as well free cuddle and dry towels and neutral ones of course and this was from mother care but it, they have it in boots but i thought that was great like you only need three, don't you? I don't think you need that many. I get out of breath even from like walking into the bedroom. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, but yeah, so this is all the stuff so far we've got from friends and family. My, my real dad gave me some money. We actually bought our baby a 200 pound teddy from Harrods. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please not forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.